Welcome to another Matt Cook Oregon video. Today we're exploring Thor's Well. Thor's Well is a natural saltwater fountain on the coast of Oregon. The viewing area is right off of Coastal Highway 101. It is on the doorstep to the Cape Perpetua Scenic Area, which offers tons of beaches, views, and trails. This area is part of the Siusala National Forest. Cape Perpetua is named by Captain James Cook in the late 1700s as he searched for the Pacific entrance to a Northwest Passage. Cook named the area Cape Perpetua because it was sighted on St. Perpetua Day. Thor's Well is best seen an hour before or an hour after high tide. There's no info out there on who named Thor's Well. We could only guess that someone heard the thunderous waves and thought that the well was carved out by Thor's hammer. Before going to the well, I decided to go up on the Oregon Coast Trail to get another view. Thor's Well is a very popular photography spot. I got a unique perspective from this trail. The well can be viewed from the parking area, or you can take a quick walk down to get up close. Once ready, you can begin the short trail from your car down to the well. Before reaching the well, you can see a Cook's Chasm viewpoint. Over a very long period of time, waves widen this fracture in the rocks forming Cook's Chasm. The edge of the chasm was undercut, creating a cave. Eventually the top of the cave collapsed, creating the spouting horn. After the trail and some staircases, you're down at the beach and you can pick your path to the well. For thousands of years, Native Americans hunted and fished for clams, mussels, crabs, and sea urchins along the coast around here. Evidence of this can still be found in the huge piles of discarded mussel shells that lie along the shore near the Cape Perpetua Visitor Center. Cape Perpetua was part of Alsi tribe territory. In their language, the cape was called Hal Cake, which means an opening. Formations like Thor's Well are geologically formed over long periods of time. They begin as a sea cave and eventually the top of the cave collapses, leaving an opening where the tide comes in from below and sends a powerful force of water shooting upward. Some have also called Thor's Well the gateway to hell. This hole is deceivingly deep at about 20 feet of jagged rock.
Depending on the tide level, sometimes the well bubbles to the top, while other times it's bursting out in a violent spray. Thor's well up close is actually extremely dangerous. People get excited to photograph it up close and forget that they could be pulled in at any time. High tide is the best time for photography here, but it's also the most dangerous. Thank you for exploring Thor's well with me today. Let me know in the comments where in Oregon you would like to see next.